What's good everybody, this is Sean and you're watching On The Fly and today on episode 4 we got another one for you. This one is called The Thing In The Apartment. This is made by a smaller subscriber by the name of John William Ross. The name of it is called The Thing In The Apartment. It is a horror short film. So uh, without further delay, let's just go ahead and get right to it and we can see what's going on. I've been like, you better What's get out. There? Something, it just walked into my room. What? Like, like an animal? No, I don't know. Lindsay, calm down. Where are you? I, I don't know. You don't know. I just kept running. I don't know how far. I was so scared. Okay, don't move. Just help me figure out where you are. I'm going to come get you. Looking at this short, it looked real familiar like I've seen this before. I swear I feel like I've seen this before. But well, let me just see. Lindsay, it's me. I can see you. It's all right, you can come out. If you that shook and you don't want to come to my car, I'll pull off on your ass. Jesus. Okay, don't hug me. Let me go. Hey, Let sorry. me pull off. What happened? Did she even lock the door? Something scared you. Oh my God, it was awful. Why didn't you call the police? I... I didn't know if it would be in there if I even... I only saw it for a second. Saw what? Just start from the beginning. Okay. I was lying in my bed. I was watching something on my phone, waiting for my sleeping pill to kick in. How long? Before Chris and Abby's wedding. I mean, it's something that's watching her, if I'm not mistaken. Now, if you don't get your butt up from that point, I understand that you may hear things or whatever. See, it's standing right there. <laughs> I just threw the door open and ran. I felt like it was right behind me, but I didn't look back. I just ran in a straight line. <laughs> and then I called you. What kind of sleeping pill? It's prescription. Does it matter? Generic thing. I. I just started taking it yesterday, but this started before that. What did? This feeling like someone's looking at me at night. This is why I couldn't sleep in the first place. I feel like it's just been in there. She need a boyfriend.
Okay. So do you want to go take a look? No, I don't want to go back there. Lindsay, if it's an animal, it probably just ran out. Anyway, do you really want to leave your door open all night? Let's just drive up the driveway and we'll see if we see anything. She took off. She, she, wherever she was, she was far away from the crib. I, okay, I feel like I have seen this before. It's okay. I don't see anything. What's that? Pepper spray. Just in case. No, Sam, please don't go up there. Lindsay, you said it yourself. You don't even know what you saw. Maybe okay. it's nothing. Can we please just come back in the morning? I don't want to be here. I'm just going to go take a look. If I see anything, I will come right back. I promise. Terrible friend. We can go to my place, call the police, whatever. Okay. So what you gonna do going up there? That's what. That's my question. What is she gonna do going up there? Like if it is something, this this girl got on. You got pepper Sam? spray. Idiot. I know if it was the pills. Stay in the car. I mean, she a good friend and a terrible friend. Like she a good friend for checking up on her in the middle of the night, but it's like she don't believe her. Which don't make no sense. Which is, uh, I'd have told my boy like, "Hey, better bring your ass this way or something." Or if you got that thing on you, why don't you turn on the light? How about that? You gotta walk in the house to turn on the light. Ain't no switch. You're just supposed to call the police, you know. You ain't supposed to enter no situation like that. You know, a female by herself. You know, she don't look like she lift any type of weights or she ain't even got no weapon. She got pepper spray. Like, what is that going to do? Friend, that kind of made me jump a little bit just a little bit but y'all didn't see it though because i'm thug don't you dare do the slow turn don't you dare do it don't you dare it's in the back trunk it's in the, in the it's in the back seat Slid in like <laughs> why was she in a trance though? Sam dead though. You didn't got your friend involved. Idiot. Be in the back seat if I'm not mistaken. 
Nah, car don't work. Boy! Talk about scary movie tropes. Man, them, them monsters and ghosts play too much. Sitting in, sitting in the passenger seat, just chilling, waiting to scare. Crazy, crazy work. That's crazy work. That's crazy work. But y'all, let me know what y'all think. Like, what would y'all would have? Like, what would you have done in that situation? Okay, first of all, let's let's look at the perspective of the the first girl, the uh, redhead. Well, they both redheaded. So let's go with the first girl. If you were in a situation to where you was playing on your phone waiting for sleep meds to kick in, what like what would you do? Would you well she did the right thing by leaving the crib and taking off, you know what I'm saying? So that was the first good thing that she did. The second thing I would have done is call the police and be like, look, somebody in my crib, I ain't tripping. Can y'all search my crib? That'd have been that. Then I would have called my friend after to kind of pull up on me or something like that. I understand she was super duper, you know, scared. But that should have been the first thing that she did was um, call the police. So she messed up on that part. Now, as far as the friend, um, the girl that Sam, she is an idiot. Now, she, she she was a good friend to the point to where she got up out of bed. You know, because most people they'd be like, "Listen, you gonna have to you know deal with. It. I ain't getting up out of bed." But she was a cool friend by doing that but she was an idiot for telling the friend to stay in the car while she go check on her crib alone with pepper spray like that is the dumbest thing you could do especially if you ain't got that thing on you she should have also called the police or had somebody up in there you know a couple of fellas or something like that to kind of check out the crib but they didn't do that so their deaths both of them it's their fault so i ain't gonna say i don't feel bad but it is what it is. You uh, play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And that stupid prize or stupid game that she played was walking to the house alone. So, I don't know. Anyways, y'all post your comments down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all on the fly. Peace.